prepare you for your final project, I've got the start of a GUI CRUD application that you'll finish. I'm going to start by showing you what's currently working. I have completed the main menu, which will let you look up a customer, add a customer, change customer email, or delete a customer. Add customer is still under construction, change customer email under construction, and delete customer is under construction. You're going to need to finish those. This is based on the work we did in chapter nine. So you're going to pickle things and do things the same way from that. This is really just adding the GUI to it. So go back to your chapter nine work if you need a refresher on what we did before. So I've created this main menu and it should open up additional interfaces which will return you to the main menu or allow you to do work in here. So here it's looking for my name and it's not found. I can return to the main menu at any. So you're going to finish the application. I'm going to walk through what we have and discuss what you need to do. So I have the import TK enter, import TK enter message box, and import pickle. Now I've played with this a few times. You're the not the first class to do this. What we discovered as a class is the best thing to do is instead of opening the file in main to prevent the customer or the per user from losing any data after the menu section in each class where we're doing our GUI you're going to do a try and accept statement. You can pretty much copy this into each of the different options. So when you add a customer You'll need to save and repickle the file before you're done. If you're changing, you're going to need to save and repickle the file. And if you're deleting, you're going to need to save and pickle the file. And the lookup customer, I don't need to pickle the file because we're not making any changes. We're just doing a search. So that's when you're going to need to go back to chapter nine to look up how to pickle. But let's start from main and work through there. So I'm calling main. And in main, we create a new window. And it's important to be doing this in main because this is what allows us to go out into another window and then return back to the main menu. So we have to create a root of tkinter.tk. And then we create menu GUI equals the CRUD GUI, which we'll go to in a moment, and we pass it the root. And then we do the root from the main loop. This is what allows us to have multiple windows that we go back and forth from. So in the CRUD GUI, we do the welcome menu. You can see that title is here. It's sort of hidden. We have the radio variable set to zero, which is our first one. We have a top frame and a bottom frame. And we have different radio buttons. We have the radio buttons for look up customer, add customer, change customer, email, value, value one, two, three, and four. We've got where we're adding and packing, where we're packing these for the look, add, change, and delete. We're anchoring them west. That's making things line up neatly here with a padding X of 20. This is giving us padding on the side here. This is making it look neat. We have an OK and a quit button. Quit does a destroy. OK takes you to whichever um, radio button is selected. We're packing on the left side, we're packing the frames, and then we have the open menu. And if it's the if the value equals one, which is look up customer, it will have the look GUI, which we've called search equals look GUI that creates this one. It gives you an error message that this isn't used, but you have to do it this way. So you're not going to get your green check marks here because this is how you cre you cre you're creating an instance of the GUI. You don't really have to use it. That happens when we get into classes. So don't worry about having this particular error error here, where it's telling you that it's not used because we are actually using it. If you don't have it here, it won't work. This is a bug. So right now you're getting the still under construction because any anything here, this is the part that you have to finish. So anything else is going to be still under construction. So you need to finish this menu. So you do an elif radio variable get equals two would be customer three 
change email. Four would be delete customer, and then you'll have to create those classes. I created the first class for you for looking up the customer, and we're getting master, which is our root window here. Then we're going to try to open the customer file. If it doesn't exist, it will create customers. It doesn't actually save this if we're just doing a lookup, but this will make sure that we um, don't have any errors. It just says there's nothing in there or you won't find the customer you're looking for. So we have search for customer. Let's go ahead and open this so we can look at it. So we have search for customer as our name. So that's our title here. We have the top frame, middle frame for our results, bottom frame for the buttons. So we're in our top frame we have enter customer name to look for and our entry box and then we had to pack both of those our middle frame is where we'll display our results and this is important we're using the text variable to self value so when we change the value of this when we actually type in something and look for it that's how we're going to change that variable so we have to pack those and when we do the search, if we get the name, it will respond with that. Otherwise, we get not found. And we set do self value that set to result, which is our variable here. Back will destroy it and take us back to the main menu. So that's the beginning. You're going to have to add the other options on the menu here and add the other classes. So you've got the look GUI, you'll need to have an interface for add, change, and delete, but this gets you started and you should be able to finish it from here. And this is really a basic sample of you're going to do something of at least this level of complexity for your final project. And this should give you sort of an idea to think about on what you're going to do for your final project.